Hey folks, and uh, welcome in. I'm going to mute my other thing here before we do anything else here. I think it may already be muted. I don't know. Anyhow, welcome in the Drone Nation for uh, August 9th, 2021. Uh, we're calling this, what are we calling this, Marcus? In the Drone Nation. For, the uh, Xeno is finally ready to ship. Hey, I, I, hear, I hear something in the background there. Ryan. I, have mute, I have to mute. Okay. So uh, the Xeno Mini is finally ready to ship. So we got we got a lot to talk about. The Hubson Xeno Mini Pro. We don't have any. We don't mean we can't, you know, nobody has a drone yet, but we still got a lot to talk about with the, uh, the Xeno Mini Pro. We got a lot of other great topics to talk about. And just in a couple of minutes, we're going to be, we have an esteemed panel tonight of drone experts and whatever. These guys know drones like nobody else in the industry does. All the way from Florida, we're going to bring in Build a Drone Reviewer, and all the way from, you know, uh, the frozen north up in Canada. But I don't think it's the frozen anymore, Marcus. Laura Calgary, down Calgary, Alberta. Right. So uh, I'm going to throw it over to my uh, co-host, Marcus, and we're going to check in what he's been up to. I know he was in the Hood River. I just saw his video the other day, but uh, that video is old, though. Yeah, that's a couple weeks ago when we were on our way to the Washington coast. That was, uh, there, there's more videos to come on that. That was a fun trip, and there were a lot of opportunities to fly, Ron. So, uh, yeah, I've got a few videos coming up on that. But the other thing is, uh, you know, you guys keep talking about your mini drones. Mark is doing the band. Look. Oh, yeah, I'm going to open this up. Stinking, who needs a mini drone? Look at this. Oh, wow. Look at this, Ron. That's Holy not 250 God. grams. That is not 250 grams. Uh, that is the Potensic Dreamer Pro. And uh, the folks at Potensic sent it to me for review. Uh, and, I, and, and I took it out today. Uh, and as you can see, it's fairly well presented. Feels like a quality piece. Uh, and I had a good flight with it. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be a, it's going to be a positive review on that one. It, uh, it flew quite well. It ain't no mini drone. But the other the thing that I really struck me, Ron, when I was flying it, uh, is that uh, you talk about line of sight. You, you can see that thing so much easier <laughs> than, you know, when you fly the little Mavic Mini, you know, or yeah. the, the Femi Mini or whatever. Yeah, this thing you have no problem seeing in the air. Uh, but uh, We'll look forward to seeing that review come yeah, out on, on your channel sometime later this week. The other thing I have to talk about, Ron, is th this came in the mail the other day. This is the... Uh, the free well, uh, variable, oh, the variable ND filters, variable, variable ND X mist, they call it. And, uh, it's, so what it has, it's variable ND. And, uh, then it's got also a mist filter on there that helps you get halation in your video. And what that does is it makes it look like, uh, emulsified film. So, so evidently there are people that want to get that look that you used to get when you, when you got with film and, uh, and it also gives you a little bit of a misty look that I know a lot of photographers are after. So I'm trying to think of, uh, I got some ideas of how I'm going to check these out, but, uh, that'll be coming And By the way, that is for the uh, air 2s, air 2S. But they also make them for the air two and for the, uh, Mavic two pro. And do you have any idea what this thing's retail for? Yeah, but about fifty bucks. I think forty nine ninety five or something like that. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, good, good. Um, I guess with no further ado, we might as well bring in our panel and start running down the stories. What do you say, Marcus? Not yes, but heck yes, Ron. All right. Okay. Well, uh, first from uh, from sunny Florida, here is Bill, the drone reviewer. Hey guys. Hello, Bill, and now we're going to bring in somebody who's a little bit north of you, all the way from Canada, Lauren Donner. Thanks for joining us tonight. Yep, from the Great White North, only we're not, not quite white right now. Of course, uh, 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 Lauren looks like he's about ready to join the Beach Boys tonight. But um, Well, we've got Bill's Florida weather up here right now, so I figured I'd, I'd kind of fit, fit the part. You, you don't look like you're ready for the stampede, Lauren. Uh, Stampede's over, man. Stampede's oh, over. <laughs> okay, I wondered when that was. That's already done. Huh? Well, they're opening yeah. up Canada for us to come up and visit now. We can't go to the Stampede. Forget yep. it. They're, up, they're opening up uh, Canada, but I think they're closing down Florida. I hear, yeah. Bill, you've been ramping up down there. Yeah, it's, well, 
our just a real quick side note: the cafe in our in our plant in in our retirement community, two workers tested positive for COVID nineteen, so they yeah. had to shut it down. I'm like, here we go. I'm like, man, people, just don't be stupid. Don't just just don't be stupid. Just yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you know, just don't be stupid. All right. It, it's, yeah. it's it's free, right? Just you can go to the your local drugstore and uh, get. I it. got the one and done. And I'm a happy camper and Valerie did the same. And, you know, it's just, well, they just, they just put out, and I saw this esteemed doctor, his name is Dr. Schwelt and he does, a, he has a channel called MedCram. The guy's a, a, a distinguished professional and it's like 98% of the people that are in the hospital with COVID-19 didn't have, weren't vaccinated. Yeah, don't, who, who's saying is this uh, in the U S we now we have a pandemic of the unvaccinated. Yeah. 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 And, and listen, you know, not to get too political or anything, but I, I did want to give this shout out to the beginning. So giant drone flyer, he's in Louisiana and they're like the worst state in the nation right now through the COVID outbreak. So I really want to you know, send out thoughts and prayers for everybody in Louisiana. I think it's really great, great, great point, Ron. I mean, here's, here's the way I look at this. You know, I hear a lot, you know, a lot of people say, well, I told you so and all that, you know what? No, I didn't tell you so. We need to care about people and whether they got the vaccine or not, I don't want anybody to get that COVID-19 and uh, mm -hmm. you know, I just wish the best for, for everybody. So, you know, my son was lucky. My youngest son, he had it. And we're pretty sure when we went out to visit my daughter and her family <laughs> that she had had it, she just didn't get tested for it because she had all the symptoms, you know, and the, luckily, you know, they're, they're fine. Um, but, you know, but since, you know, my son, both, uh, you know, it's just like, it's, it's a no brainer. Okay. It really is just a no stinking brainer, you know, just. Well, it, it's funny because once they open up the border, um, at least for us, I may not even be able to come down because I had mixed vaccines. What? So, yeah. You Canadians are wacko. <laughs> hey, they, they tell us take the first shot that's available. But yeah. the problem is, other countries may not recognize whichever vaccine that you did, you know, like right. you, know, you did the one and done that may not be recognized in Canada, for example. Right. Right. So, right. Um, so, you know, so it, Lord, you, it, you did as you got them all right. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> and, and, and now what's, uh, is it some places are doing booster shots now, even if you had to, you get a booster with a third, but Hey folks, I know folks didn't yeah, who did you get on the, that the COVID yeah, let's, let's talk some, let's talk. So, some. So, let's, let's talk some. You could, you could turn on what all those news, all news stations to listen to COVID all night, but you can't get this information. CNN, uh, Fox news, none of them carry the information we're going to give you tonight. Right, Bill. That's right. This, so this, is right, right this is right here. Big, so big, right you know, here. Yeah, uh, uh, some big, I can't think of somebody's name on a big news show. Rachel Maddow is not going to tell you about the, the Hups and Zeno Mini Pro. So. That's right. You yeah. are you are, you are are at, at the epicenter of, of the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro, okay? <laughs> this is the epicenter tonight. And you won't need any vaccine for this. Well, you may need a vaccine after we tell you this Hups and Zeno <laughs> Mini Pro story here. But, um, but but let's get into a little bit here. Okay, you know, I know people give us a hard time because we complain about the, the late shipping. But anyhow, um, I emailed Hupson on Friday, and this is Hupson.com, the official website which I ordered from, and I, I gave my order a number, and I wanted a status. Ron, I, Ron is, is that the mothership? The mothership. Sorry, I didn't say the mothership today. So I got a hold of the mothership, gave my order a number, told the date I ordered, and I said, you know, I, this has almost been three months today. Can I get a status? update on my order. I said, you know, and if I don't hear anything back from you for a while, I'm probably going to go ahead and cancel this order, whatever, because three months is, is uh, I've, I've, you know, done my due diligence or whatever. So they, they emailed me back this morning. They were very nice. They said that uh, you will, you know, we're shipping the drones out right now and you will have a, you will have a tracking number within five working days, you know, from this point. So uh, it all sounds like uh what, what's that old song from the sixties, Bill? Uh, lollipops and uh, uh, you know that. As a, but I think Marcus, you've got a similar um, email. Yeah. So just like you, and a lot of us, uh, you know, I, I ordered mine on May seventh from uh, 
as my friend Ron Brown says, the mothership, Hubson uh, in their their main website. And people need to understand the difference between Hubson US and Hubson. Hubson US is actually not even a part of Hubson. They're just a reseller that sells uh, Hubson drones. Uh, so anyway, Ron and I both ordered off of Hubson's worldwide website, and that was on May 7th. And, uh, and I emailed uh, their uh, people that got a beautiful email back that says, oh, you're, we're, yours is shipping out tomorrow. And wait four days for your, uh, uh, for your uh, tracking number. Well, I waited over a week and I emailed them back and I said, hey, no tracking number. And they said, oh, no, because you're getting a special gift. That's held up your shipment. It should ship in the next few days. Well, nothing has changed yet. Now, there's one more step. Ron and I both, early on, gosh, probably back in April or so. I'm going to say it was within, within a couple of weeks of ordering, putting the order in. Well, I think it was even, was it? Yeah, maybe it was after we ordered. I'm trying to remember the I'm not sure now either, yeah. But, but, but say a, uh, well, I don't know if she's a young lady, but a person named Molly got a hold of both Ron and I. And uh, asked us if, boy, we would just be happy to do a good job of uh, representing the the uh, Zeno, and asked us if we would uh, uh, become Hubson affiliates. And uh, so, of course, we just jumped right in and said, "Well, hey, we need to see that drone, and you know, then we can talk about the rest of that." So Ron and I both tried to get a hold of that individual recently, and it's just been crickets nothing. So, uh, you know, who knows what's going on? And I know, uh, Ron, I'll let you uh, take it from here. But well, I know. you know, I, I want to get, you know, Bill, the drone viewer has actually, he ordered from a different right. uh, supplier than we did. Yeah. So maybe he has a better report to give us um, than, 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 you know, than what we have given you. Bill, uh, how are you making out with Hubson U.S.? Okay. Um, I did not order from the mothership. I ordered from Hubson U.S. And uh, Marcus explained so well what Hubson U.S. is. Okay. And I think that's an important thing for everybody to understand. Hey, Bill, I want to add that was a good strategy, though, by the way, too. I think that it makes sense uh, because they, they, they could very well ha have the drone and ship it before Hubson Worldwide does. Mm -hmm. And that's the reason, that's the sole reason I decided to order from them. Um, because I remember we're going back to the Xeno 2, okay? And um, Josh from Parks and Tech, okay? He ordered from Hubson US and he had ordered from Hubson Mothership, okay? He got a tracking number within like two days after ordering from Hubson US, okay? I ended up, you know, I, I but, but, Long story short, I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. Now, I ordered May 17th, okay? And the nice thing about it is, okay, um, I believe they have two points of distribution in the United States. I think it's New Jersey, and I think it's California, all right? So, um, you know, being on the East Coast, you know, it's not going to take long to get down to Florida, which is nice. Now, I emailed them uh, about a week ago, and I posted the email in my last video that I did on, on Hudson. And they told me that mine was in the first batch that is to be is to be delivered, and we you sh they should be shipping shortly. Okay, they, he didn't give me a time frame, and he also said ever said it has been sold out. Okay, so you know, and others are going to be waiting for their orders. So, um, you know, this is this is where we're at right now. I'm looking like a watchdog on my email. <laughs> there's going to be a tracking number. I mean, I've, I've, I've been out there like, you know, every, every hour on the day, just checking to see if there's something and there's been nothing, but this is, that's the latest that I, that I have there. Now also too, I want to call attention to the group, the Xeno mini pro group that I have several, and they're probably, I'm not sure they're here in the United States, but several have stated they've gotten tracking numbers and tracking information, and theirs is on their way. So if this bodes true, then then we're all good here. Uh, you know, I I, I would expect the mothership to deliver, Hubs in U.S. to deliver very very shortly, because you know. And, and the other thing too, and, and I think people need to also realize this, 
you know, the, people were laughing. Oh, they're putting out all these videos on how to change the propeller and how to. Well, we're going to we're going to get to that in a minute, Bill. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But I think it's important that, that that in the context of things, I think people need to know it's imminent. OK, so. Yeah. Well, now I want to go over to Lauren. Now, Lauren's affiliated with a brick and mortar store that has um, they put an order in for a, uh, you know, a batch of uh, Zeno Mini Pros. Is that true, Lauren? Yep. Yeah. It's uh, like I was saying earlier, uh, just like you guys, you know, even though we're a dealer, um, w we keep getting the changing timeline as well, you know, a and it's scheduled to arrive tomorrow. Now, we've heard that before on three different occasions, so I I'm not going to hold my breath. That's that's for sure. If we do get them, I'll post something in, in Drone Nation. But, Thank you. Now, boy, I, see, I see you guys still don't have the mini SE down there yet. No, no, and I, that's one of the stories. I we're say get that. To one guy's got it. One guy's got. We're going to get to that. That's one of our stories on the list. So, let's just finish up with the um, the Zeno Mini Pro. Now, Bill mentioned uh, we, it has been encouraging for about the past week because Hobson themselves have started releasing a series of videos on YouTube on their official. Hobson YouTube channel, they had an unboxing now. It was like the world's shortest unboxing. I think it was 35 minutes. Then they did a propeller tutorial and I, I think another one. So, um, you know, any, throw it out to the panel. Anybody encouraged by seeing these consistently posted YouTube videos? Well, I think what you said is spot on. And Bill, I mentioned it as well. I think we're just that much closer to when it's going to show up. But I think that more importantly, you know, we saw the FCC filing that we did, uh, that they did uh, well, probably a month or so ago now. What it tells me is when they took our money back in May, they knew they didn't have that drone and they knew there was, they had no intention of shipping that drone. What did they tell us? Like, like mid May. Mid, mid June was one of the early dates we saw. Yeah. Then June. And then it kept going further and further forward. And that's kind of the discouraging part to me. Now, if they would have told us at the outset, hey, you're placing this order, but you know what? Don't expect to see this drone for two to three months. Hey, then it's on us, right? Because we knew that from the very start, and that's how it is. Uh, so, you know, that's that. I think that's kind of the heart of the problem. But you're spot on, Ron. We're going to see that drone very soon, and that's being uh, kind of foretold by the fact that they're dribbling out these videos. Well, you know, not, not, not just that, but the fact that they have, they've done their FCC filing now, uh, you know, because basically they can't really change anything on the drone now that the FCC filing is done. Um, otherwise they have to do a new filing. So, uh, you know, I think it's, it's probably within a week or two that we should start seeing them. You know, one of the things that Ron mentioned on the show when he when he was on my show last week, and, and I and I think that this was this was a good thing, you know. We had talked about because I think one of the videos had, had come out by this point in time, and Ron mentioned exactly what he did now. And come my com not only the comments in in the latest video I put out, but also in the group, people are like, you know, these videos are a waste of time. It doesn't mean a thing, you know. A lot of negative Nellies there, and I'm trying to say, whoa, 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 guys, okay. You know what? Just take a step back here. All right. This is all positive. All right. Hubson's not going to be throwing these videos out unless the release of this drone is imminent. And I mean, you know, well, within days. I, I, I'm going to beg to differ on that one because they did their unveiling video and that. They sure weren't ready for that one. <laughs> no. Oh, gosh. No. That was horrible. Boy. <laughs> that was horrible. Hey, Ron, can I bring up a quick point here? Because with all of this that we all just said and and coalesce those thoughts there, with all of that said, this drone, it better do what they said on day one. I don't think anybody's going to have any patience for like the FEMI experience with the FEMI Mini and stuff. The thing is just needs to get here and it needs to work. And if they perfected it and that's what took them some time, so be it. Uh, right and away, we'll all be yeah. Better off. Yeah, I, you know, that's a good point. And Lon, 
in there. I hope this doesn't need a lot of firmware updates before it's supposed to do what it does. And that's a good point, Lon. And, that, and that's exactly what Marcus said. Out of that box, okay, I don't want, okay, now granted, okay, almost all DJI drones, when you get them, there's going to be some work, some kind of a firmware update, okay? And usually they're just tweaking something here in, in, in this. It's just little, little stuff. It's not insignificant, but it's little. It's not a major or a big deal here, okay? This drone has to, has to, and it, I underline, I, I can't say this enough. When it comes out, you know, I don't want to have to run a firmware update to get, um, you know, to get the gimbal lined up, or I don't want to have to run a firmware update for it to hover in place. And I don't want to have to run a firmware update for obstacle avoidance to work in back. And, you know, the big things have to be box. working out of the box. The big, yeah, the big things mm -hmm. have to work out of the box. Agreed, 100%. Exactly. Hey, uh, one of the people in, in the Drone Nation Facebook group po pointed this out a couple days ago. I forget who it is. I'd like to credit them. Uh, I mean, the Drone Nation you know, Facebook group. But th if you notice, the mothership ha has raised the price of the basic uh, Zeno Mini Pro by $30. Did Bill Lord, did you see that price increase? Yeah, already? I saw that. Okay, no. that's another good point, Ron. It's a, So what... The, the drone was fully priced as it was. It was more expensive than a DJI product, the similar DJI product. 250 gram DJI. Yeah, drone. yeah, exactly. So, so now they've raised it even more, and in my mind, that raises the bar even higher. And I'm curious, Lauren, how does that affect that store that you're affiliated with? Because now they're going to be put in a position to where they're going to have to. They can't sell this exactly as a bargain drone, right? So they're going to have people that are going to be comparing it directly to the DJI product. Well, realistically, unless you are actually dealing with it, DJI changes the price actually quite a bit. Um, and I'm talking about, about price to dealer. And, and some of that is really bad because quite often it cuts into the margin because they tell you what you can sell it for. It's just like Apple. It doesn't matter where you go. You're supposed to buy all DJI products at the same price. But the dealers don't always get to buy them at the same price. Um, if big dealers get more of a discount because you're buying more volume, right? Like when we, for example, like if we ordered uh, Mini 2s, right? We actually order a... Uh, um, just a crate. And when I'm talking crate, I'm talking eight feet by eight feet by eight feet full of, full of those, because that's, that's got to do amongst three different stores. Right. So, um, but those discounts don't apply to some of the smaller dealers and that really cuts into their margin because even the big guys, you'll not pay the same thing, you know, all the time. But my point is, Lauren, the, the expectation is that, so so DJI is a well-known name, and somebody can walk into your store and they can say, listen, I know that it, uh, DJI is going to be a product that's going to do what it, they say it's going to do. It's going to be a little bit harder sell with Hubson, isn't it? I am not going to even make a judgment yet until we see what this thing actually can do, right? Right, right. Uh, if if it does what they say say it does, it, it'll be an easy sale. It really will. Right. But if, you know, like people said, if it's going to take six months worth of firmware updates, it's going to be a tough sell. Yeah. It's going to be a real tough sell. Yeah. You know? And once once they get the drone working and, and it does what they say it does and, and hey who knows maybe it'll do it right out of the box but i they just don't have that reputation right 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 yeah it, it could it's it's gonna be interesting you know product release one way or the other it it, it it definitely be interesting hey one quick note before we move off of this topic since we're about half of the show already um i did i did uh get bombarded by all express emails the past couple of days and they're pushing the Zeno mini pro heavily in their emails and uh in there they're they're uh I hate the guarantee. I hate the word guaranteeing, but they're guaranteeing ship times of five to fifteen days to the U.S. So I don't know what what to make of that, but 
I just thought of one more thing that we got to get in here, Ron, before we okay. get off of the uh, the Xeno Mini Pro. So one of the things that they've told everybody, if you ordered, I think it was before June, I can't remember, before June 15th, something like that, that, hey, it had taken so long, you're going to get uh, a one year of free uh, Hubson care, a 59.95 value, the okay, right. whatever that is. The thing is, they, to my knowledge, they don't have any repair stations in the U.S. unless they get that California one going again that they used to have. But that shut down a few years ago. Uh, but number two, they said that they're going to include a free gift. And that's why they told me mine was delayed. What I want to ask, this is a question for the whole panel. What's the free gift they're going to send us? It was a tote bag. It that could be. Tote. Yeah. Hey, hey, this is way off the subject too, but in that unboxing video, I do like that kind of oblong case that the guy zips it out of. Oh, yeah. The they, unboxing. Let me tell you, they make good cases. I have it for, for my uh my Xeno 2 Plus. Hey, they 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 do a good job on their on their uh, cases. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's let's move on to story two. Laura I want to talk about the DJI Mini SE. <laughs> Our buddy Rick Smith. <laughs> Uh, you know, uh, Bill's met Rick, Rick personally. Rick's from New Jersey. Rick did a video recently where he contacted some some people he knew in Hong Kong, and they shipped him a mini, a DJI Mini SE over from Hong Kong, and he did an unboxing in one of his recent shows. Now, as far as I know, he hasn't flown it yet, and I don't think he had even started up to make sure it would work in the U.S. at that point he did the unboxing, but... Um, he speculated that the it would not go on sale uh, until the U in the U.S. until the Mini Three came out later in the fall because at that point they would only want to have two Minis available for sale the um, the Mini Three or the Mini Two S whatever they're going to call it and, and the SE. Did you any, any have you any of you guys seen Rick's video or um, any thoughts on it? Didn't get a chance to watch it, but uh, you know what I was to say is. He didn't have to go all the way to Hong Kong. I know a guy in Canada that would have shipped him one. Yeah. Well, he, <laughs> well he, and I have another friend. He's watching the show right now. Barry Markowitz reached out to um, Mark I said he will be in Canada soon. And if he wanted, he could pick many SEs up for us while he's in Canada. Yep. Oh, and and Barry Barry sent an email. Remember, I was trying to say a song about the uh, the 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 hub, the mini the Zeno Mini. I was trying to say it's all rainbows, lollipops, and sunshine. That's it. <laughs> Remember rainbows, that old from the lollipops. Said? Yeah. Thank you for that, Barry. Barry's <laughs> watches all the way from beautiful Hawaii. So, Lauren, hey, I got a shirt. <laughs> I got a question for Lauren. Have you have you flown the Mini SE? Yes. And it's, it's, what's your what's your take on it? Just the same as a mini. It's, it's just a glorified original mini. Yeah, yeah. that's what I was yeah. thinking. So it's got the power of the mini too, though, right, Lauren? I mean, it's yeah, yeah pretty yeah. much. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's huge. That's a big deal, really. Well, it is, but uh, it, it's it handles it better than the mini one, but for for whatever reason, it's not quite as good as the mini two. So, um, it, it's it, it's the redheaded it's, stepchild. Call it. <laughs> it's a price point product, is what it is. Yes. It's a price yeah. point product. Well, speaking of the price point, what is the price at in Canada, Lauren? Oh heck, I don't know. I don't deal with dollars and cents. <laughs> well, what, uh, what what about Canadian dollars? Oh, hang on, hang on. Let, I'll I'll just look it up. Give me a second. You just, you know, I mean, just, it, you're just a ballpark, you know. Um, hey, hey, in the meantime, I want you to know, uh, Lauren, that Barry says you're uh, Magnum PI, Tom Selleck, in that shirt. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's related to Hawaii, yeah. <laughs> and, and the rest of and the rest of us look like Higgins. Where's your Ferrari, Lauren? Your 308? Yeah, I, I'm, I'm waiting for it, yeah. yeah. It's, at the uh, it's, at, it's at the dealership. Okay, four seventy nine Canadian for the Flymore combo. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, Mark, are you good on conversion? Well, I'd have to look it up, yeah, Ron. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Uh -oh. uh, let's see, currency. So, Bill, what, were, what were you speculating the U.S. price at on on the on the mini uh, SC? What were you speculating two nine nine or between two nine nine and three forty nine? 
Yeah, well, that's what we were talking. That's what we were thinking. Like probably three forty nine, three three eighty. Um, but that's the fly mower, right? That's not. Just, yeah, that's just with three batteries. And oh, three eighty for the fly mower. That's not. That's a good price in U.S., isn't it? Yeah, that's awesome. Is what that is. I mean, that's you know. Now, doesn't that kill the? Doesn't that just kill the bottom of the drove market out for the other competitors, uh, guys? Yeah. I mean, for, for instance, Bill, could you? Bill, could you recommend the Phoebe? I know you had. A, we're going to get to your review of the Phoebe Mini, but could you recommend the Phoebe uh, Mini over that? Over that, um, you know, the DJI. Uh, uh, can I answer that? Bill, does fly more? <laughs> Pardon? It's you know what I, I said it so fast you didn't hear. Okay, <laughs> I mean, really? I mean, is there is there any any doubt? You know, and, and here's my thing. Okay, those people. The hardcore, I'll, I'll call us hardcore hobbyists, like, you know, the, the panel here tonight, okay? We'll, we'll, we'll be able to, to get drones like the Femi Mini, be able to get drones like the Hubs and Xeno Mini Pro and, and fly them and test them and all that, okay? But if you're looking to get into drones, you want an entry-level drone, okay? There's only one place to look, okay? There's, there's no other place to look, Okay. It's 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 a it's an absolute total no brainer, without any doubt. Well, so listen, I want to answer Ron's question directly. That that Femi X8 Mini is just you just cannot recommend it to anybody. I was thinking of a few choice words, but I'm not going to go there. I've 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 had three of them, and every one of them have had big not just little problems, but significant problems. And I know Ron's did as well. Uh, a number of people that we know have, uh, and, and it's worldwide, Ross over in Australia, his is, he's got the same problems that you have with yours, uh, Ron. And uh, Drone Camps RC, he kind of like glossed over it, but his got out there about 400 meters and he lost connection and so forth. So there's a lot of them. And Bill, I, I know you had a fairly good experience with yours. Yeah. And others that have, I mean, uh, uh, I, I, our friend Al Duran, uh, his, he's done some, he's taken some beautiful video with his, uh, quite frankly. Yeah. But I tell you, I've had three of them. And so what, and they were all back. And what I worry about is the, the because as we just, you just said, Bill, it's a starter, somebody that's new is potentially going to buy that drone and they're going to buy that thing and they're going to have nothing but trouble with it and think that, okay, that's what these drones are and they'll just be done with the, with the hobby then. So I, yeah. I just think Femi, Femi just really did us wrong with that drone. Marcus, I got two recent, most recent drones I got in are the, the Femi Mini and the, uh, I don't, the, the, the Hemi uh, uh, M3 or something like that. And you, know, you got these two drones here. Guess which one flies better? <laughs> yeah. the, little, the, the little Nahimi, at least it gets off the ground. It, it's the better drone than the Phoebe Mini. You know, it doesn't even have a camera, but uh, you know, it the, at least gets off the ground and flies well for five minutes. They they uh, they, they really screwed the pooch. I just it's not good. R Ron, that, that was a funny little story from yesterday. I was out uh, uh, photographing and and flying at a uh, kite festival yesterday. And you were holding up that that little FPV drone. It was it was kind of funny because I just finished landing the drone, and little girl comes up to me with what was left over of uh, of a little mini FPV, and she says, "Is this yours?" <laughs> <laughs> I said, uh, "No." <laughs> but thank you. <laughs> That's funny. That's there, there was hardly anything left of this thing, but uh, she <laughs> said, is this yours? <laughs> oh, that was nice of her. She was a, she yeah. Was a good, yeah. 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 A good one. Hey, I also want to add the the people at Femi were really nice to me. They they sent me a replacement product. They they just like they did for Bill. They sent me one of their uh, Pro batteries, and and they've been, you know, I, I they they've been very very nice. But that product just wasn't ready for prime time. We'll see, we'll see you know, and, and I, and I, and I think our friend put it so well, I think it was Gimp man that said, we're, we weren't beta testers. We were the alpha testers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And, and that was just so, so appropriate because you know, the whole thing here. Okay. 
you know, it, it's like King of the Hill, DJI. Okay, Every, everybody knows that, and 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 it's and they're it's well earned. Okay, they've earned a, a good reputation. Okay, you know, and then you have, and we're talking mini drones. We're talking right. Finney and then Hubson. You know, fighting to be next next on the King of the Hill or or try to get up there. Okay, and because of this competition is so fierce. And it's so intense, okay? Femi goes ahead and they put this out way sooner than it should. It should never have been released. What's the old saying, Bill? It wasn't fully baked? It was not. You know, it's like you need to put that back in the oven for 375 for another 45 minutes here. Hey, Bill, can you? I, I watched your video right before we got on the show here, but. Can you talk about that a little bit? I know you had a fair sure. bit of experience, but you had some issues as well. Yeah. Um, you know, the, the things that went right for me, okay, really no discernible horizon tilt. I know you had the best horizon of anybody, Bill. Which yeah. was amazing because I did several times. Now, I not just return to homes, but turn in manually, okay? And the, the gimbal, and I had zero. Now, you never gimbal. got that consistently good horizon on your big X8, did you? You no, know, I had I had issues with that. Okay, and yeah, and you had no you had no gimbal flop either. No, that I had no yeah. gimbal, no discernible gimbal flop at all. Okay, now my and, and also no transmission problems whatsoever. And I flew it a pretty good distance, all within line of sight. But I mean, I, it 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 flew well. Yeah, it, it really flew well. I mean, you know. But my biggest problem was okay. It 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 was that dang joystick okay it was you know every time i would point it go straight and it would do one of these okay and i had to course correct all the time so in between flights and you can see from the video i calibrated the remote okay think it would do something didn't do a stinking thing and i'm like you know what i'm just like i'm just gonna gonna trudge through it but it but the video quality really impressed me okay i thought the video quality was good um for that you know, I did see a little bit of spotlighting in yours, Bill. Yeah, I, I did me a see tip there. That seems to be only in 4K. So if you shoot in like 1080, 1080, it, yeah, it goes I know Grohl Man said you put 1060, it was gone. Yeah, yeah. Well, I'm, I'm yeah. going to suggest just shouldn't be an issue, but try recalibrating the IMU. Yeah, I'll try. I'll try that too. Um, but you know. All in all, I mean, precision landing, it was three for three. I didn't have any problems with that. That was right on the mat, um, you know, and just it was responsive. I had, you know, like I said, you know, the biggest thing was was that, um, you know, r remote thing, you know, the, the joystick for me. But, yeah. but you know, the, but the, th but the thing is. Let me that on the, on the Zeno 1, Marcus, when the, it would have fly. Crabby. crabby. We called it crabby, crabby on the Zeno 1 because it took them about six months a firmware teams before they could get the crabbing out of the Xeno one. That that's just, you know, it, it's just like you point the stick straight. See, okay, we're all spoiled, all of us, okay? Because we fly a DJI drone, we point that stick straight. Guess what? That drone's gonna fly straight. And guess what? I don't, you know, now I know and, and Lauren's taught taught well, Lauren's a good teacher because you know, one of the first things he says, you know, even when you get a DJI drone, you know, calibrate the remote. So you know what? Uh, beyond everything else I calibrate, I do the remote, even for grins and giggles on a DJI drone, okay? But you know what? I if, Even if I didn't do it, it's going to probably fly pretty doggone straight and true to to, to where, I, where I'm pointing it, you know? It's just like, you know... It, well, like, I don't think I've calibrated six on the DJI zone, drone since the Mavic 1, and I get no... Uh, yeah, you know, I get no crabbing or anything. Uh, yeah, see, you know, and, and, and for, for me, okay, you know... I, I had a good experience, and that's why you know I titled the video. I wasn't expecting this. I was expecting pro I was expecting gimbal shakes. I was expecting transmission signal problems. Um, you know, just just horizon tilt issues. I didn't get any of those, and, and that really surprised me. That that really did truly surprise me. So, no, I, I was uh, you know I mean I was happy to see your uh, you know you perform so well for you, and and to see a good review, and and, and that's. Of course, that's what we've been talking about all along. The problem with these Phoebe's is somebody gets one like like yours that actually works pretty close to what it should be, but then the next guy get one that doesn't work at all. I mean, yeah, it, it's it, like it, it, it's they're all over the place. It's yeah. like the old adage, like a car made on Monday or a car made on Tuesday, kind of a thing, you know. 
Mm-hmm. And, and this is what it's like. It's like, you know, you're, you're getting, you're getting, it's a crapshoot, you know, and Marcus had three of them. Okay. Three of them. Garbage. Yeah. And, you, and you think, you think you would think Marcus, I don't want it. One of those three would have, would have, would have had some semblance of some kind of behavior. Okay. Listen, I really, really wanted to like that drone and I, I was motivated to like that drone and I wanted to be positive about it. But, you know, there's a point that you just can't, you, you just have to go there and you say, no, you know, I can't. I'm, I'm the same with Marcus. Anybody would call me a bastard. I went and really, I went and really went to like that drone. So I may say all bad about it, but I didn't go in wanting to bash it. Right. Yeah. You know, and Marcus brought up a good point. Feeny customer service is, I think, exceptional. Okay. They really, they're responsive. They will work with you. They will take care of you. You know, I have had nothing but a positive experience with them. It's too bad, okay, that this situation happened and took place because had they had there not been a rush, okay, imagine had they taken their time, beta tested this, worked all the flaws out, and put out a product, okay, it would have knocked people's socks off, okay? It would have been a legitimate contender to a DJI Mini. But now it's like... Who can recommend this drone? Nobody I know. Hey, yeah. Bill, I got a question for you. What brand of uh, remote is this? <laughs> it's a Femi. That, my friend, is a Potensic. Potensic, okay. Yeah. They stole They stole that off of Femi. Well, here's, here's the thing. And then you look at the drone, too. What, what does this look like? This, this <laughs> it looks like a Femi drone, doesn't it? Oh, the first Femi. It does, yeah. The the uh, the Femi uh, A three, uh, yeah, Xiaomi Mi four K drone. Yeah, yeah. yeah but Xiaomi. you know what? I flew this guy today, and it, man, it flew great. If the mini, if the mini would fly like this guy did, I would have been a happy camper. <laughs> That's good to hear. I thought I drone to fly well. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Ed, before we uh, move on here, uh, what, back up the story. We, we talked about the Mini a little bit. Have we heard any, like, fresh? I mean, there's a lot of Mini 3 rumors coming out for a while. A lot of them said we were going to get it early, and a lot of them talked about what specs this may have. Have we heard any Mini 3 rumors lately, uh, guys? I can't participate in this discussion, Ron. I'm going to have to step out for a minute. DNA. Uh, and, uh, DNA. DNA. Ah! Just kidding. That's no, the no. only thing I heard. Was you know if if it does come out this year, it would probably be a November release, and it would be in time before Black Friday. That's the the usual. Yeah. yeah, it would be the usual, and you know it's like it's like clockwork because you know the, the first mini November, okay. The second mini November, okay. You know, are they gonna are they gonna repeat themselves? Who knows? I mean, it, it would make a lot of sense because you know at that kind of a price point. Even 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 with an increased feature set, that's still going to be their you know, uh, uh, if you want to call it top of the line mini drone that's available to the market, and and, it, and it's really enticing for people. Um, you and know, do you think, do you think we'll see much of a price bump on it this year? Depends on the feature set. I mean, you know, um, that remains to be seen. I and I have not seen one. I've heard a lot, but I haven't yeah. seen any concrete about a feature set for the Mini 3. Lauren, do you have any idea when this thing will come out? Um, I'm still thinking November. I, I've been saying that for about four or five months. and Are you I'm staying still consistent, yeah. Uh, I don't know how many of you guys seen it, but there was actually a pre-production um, shot that was uh, leaked. Um, and it's rather interesting. I wish I could f- remember where I seen that at, but there was a pre-production shot, um, and there's some interesting changes coming. I can say that. Awesome. Do you think we'll see a, a pretty good price bump on it, Lauren? I suspect probably fifteen to twenty percent. That makes and sense. That makes, that makes sense. Me more sense yeah. for the Mini SE to be in a line at a much lower price to get people who are price averse. To an increase at the high end of the mini uh, category. Well, not only that, but like I say, that that fifteen to twenty percent will be worth it. Okay, so we're going to get more than it'll go up fifteen to twenty percent, but we'll get like more value than yes. that. Yeah. yeah, 
Yeah. 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 The only thing I could I will say is this, and and knowing no know, knowing Frank like Frank hasn't called me lately, so you know I'm hoping maybe in the next couple of weeks he'll give me a call, but. Knowing DJI like we know DJI, okay, they want to be, Frank Frank Wang wants to be number one, okay. There's no no question as far as let, let's just say as far as consumer drones is concerned, okay. And you can count on the the feature set on the Mini Three. I don't know exactly what's going to be on it, but it's going to knock the socks off the Xeno Mini Pro, okay. It's gonna it's gonna you know. Kick it, kick it to the curb, as they say. I mean, um, you can't, Frank hasn't called you lately because he's too busy brow beating the engineers over. You got to top this mini, this uh, Zeno Mini. Yeah, you know, it, it, it's, don't, don't be surprised. I mean, it, it's not going to surprise any of us. And like Marcus said, there's going to be one thing on there that we weren't even thinking about on no, nobody's radar screen that DJI is going to put on this, and we're going to say, "Wow." I, I'm I'm going to change the subject just just slightly here, okay. um, because I because Bill said something you know like DJ I wants to be number one. I think they better watch out because I I honestly expect big things to uh, be coming from Autel. You know, I was just about well, to there's, there's, there's the Autel Mini two rumor. Uh, mini, the Autel Mini rumor has been around for a while, and to see I was on a show with the CEO last week, and he will not deny it. Yeah, yeah, I was gonna say I was gonna say Johnny Drone Flyer and and Ray Kelly. They hosted a great show last week. Yeah, yeah, with the with the interview of the CEO and Randall Lana. Randall uh, War Warnus Warnus Yeah, and and Lauren, I think you're absolutely spot on. It sounds to me like they're serious about the consumer drone market, which is just awesome. That's great news for all of us. And Randall will have some experience with D as he worked for DJI for a while. And and, and that's that's going to be kind of the, the big fly in the ointment for the Mini 3 because um, the fact that Randall has gone public in not so many words about them doing a Mini 3, um, that that's going to be possibly causing a delay for the Mini 3 to see what Autel is going to bring to the table. Oh, Right. So, well, you know, and I have to say this about Randall and reading his background and everything, you know, he's, he's, a he's had, he has a very hands-on approach with the company because the previous CEO over at Autel, he was kind of like at the 30,000 foot level. All right. Um, you know, interested in cash flow, interested in, you know, a lot of things that really didn't hit people, you know, consumers, at our level, okay, this Randall, I think he's a consumer type oriented person. Yeah, the other guy is more of, more of an accountant, more of an accountant, a, you know, a, a number cruncher, that kind of a thing. Randall wants because he knows in order for Autel to succeed, okay, they have to put out something that people want and people can enjoy and people can and use. That, that's basically what he said, you know, like he put out that survey and, and he says, I want to give you what you guys are asking for. So tell me what you want. Mm -hmm. and, and if he gives us what we want, they're going to, they're going to fly off the shelf provided, provided. And, and so far it really hasn't been a problem with Autel. They make a pretty good product, you know, uh, and if the quality is there, then there's going to be some scary times ahead for DJI, not necessarily, you know, in the next year or two years, but three to four years down the road, Right. right. Well, Autel to me, they've always made their hardware has always been rock solid for me. Okay, because you know, my, my as everybody knows, my first drone was an XStar Premium. You know, and, and I and I tell people to this day, you know, the hardware on that drone was impeccable. Okay, they did a top notch job with that, including the controller, everything. You know, the the real Achilles heel for a long time has been software updates, has been firmware updates for them. I mean, it was just, it, it was atrocious. I think when I finally sold it, it was still in beta, and they said that was the final firmware update. And I mean, it was just, it was a sincere joke. But Randall, I think, has such a different pulse on this. And also, too, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this out there, okay? I bet, did, I bet 
Autel has gotten a new infusion of cash. Because remember before CES, um, the one that Marcus went to, okay? It was, I mean, literally at the 11th hour and 59th minute, Autel had a booth, okay? And that was because Autel over in China sent the money over to make that happen, okay? I think what they've done, I think they've got a new infusion of capital and combined with Randall, I think Lauren's right. I think Autel's a company that's going to start knocking on DJI's door ever so slowly, but it's going to knock on their door and they're going to get, they're going to take, people are going to take notice of them. Uh, and, they've all, and they've already knocked the door at the high end. They've knocked on the door at the Mavic 2 Pro level, but now they may not be knocking doors down the line here a little bit. And Gloria, Brand Laura brought up the survey that Altel and Randall sent out. I mean, I've done all the DJI surveys that come out, but that's the best drone survey I've ever filled out. Well, here, here's another thing to think about too, okay? In, in the history of Autel, and, and I'm talking from a consumer standpoint, all right? They've only had one platform out at a time, if you will, okay? Because the Evo 2, basically, in all three flavors of it, okay, it's the same physical platform. It's the same drone, the right. mechanics, everything. The only thing that's different is that camera, okay? Yes. Whatever camera module that, that they that they put on there, all right? You know, and, and they weren't a making any- A camera, a user-swappable camera. User-swappable right. camera, okay? You know- and they weren't making any other drone. And, and that happened, you know, when they were doing the original Evo, same thing. Okay. They only had, had, had a bandwidth to handle one product at a time. Think about this, you know, with Randall on board and an infusion of capital, I'm assuming. Okay. They'll be able to handle cranking out new Evo twos, um, a new, a new smart controller. Okay. And also, a mini. Okay. And I'll tell you this and I'll go on record and everybody note this down here, write it down. This happened on drone nation on August 9th, build a drone reviewer will buy an Autel mini sight unseen. sight unseen. Sight unseen. How about you, Ron? Well, I will, but Bill, will they set, will, will be able to sell the best buy? That's I'm hoping. Yeah. It, it, you know, and, and I think, and I think Randall is probably also, in tune and aware because you know back when i got mine it had limited distribution points um it was through um an adorama camera that i got mine through amazon right. okay right. and there were just a few outlets and also the mothership to autel that was the only places you could buy them but you know I, I think randall probably realizes in order to get this drone out to people and then make it easy for them, you know, put it out at, at more brick and mortars like Best Buy. Because this is a true, Bill. We, we, we knocked tops a little bit, but don't we have to be be fair all around? Altel has a history of delivering their drones later than they promise. Yeah. I mean, you know, it, it's unfortunate that, that, that that's happened. But, you know, it, it's, uh, you know, when you remember with the original Evo, the, the, this gargantuan delay and, and this volumes of silence and, you know, nobody was saying a word and, you know, and then, well, you know, they had the FCC filing and then there was silence. It was like silence from like February to June when it actually came out. That's four months. You well, know, remember the Evo 2 was shown at CES. Um, you know, uh, Marcus and Lauren got to see it at the display stand at, at the CES in 2019. But, and they said it was be coming out in February, which is a couple weeks later or a month later. Well, it was so delayed that the the uh, the, the DJI Air 2, which wasn't even an, uh, a product at CS, beat it beat it out the beat it out the door. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, but, that's you let think alone about the that. V copter that both Lauren and I saw. <laughs> well, that's back. That's back in the news. It's yeah, it's a it's yeah. a video games. We know that. Yeah, well, the, the, they probably brought it back out like V copter because they're looking for another cash infusion. Another yeah. round, of, yeah, suckers yeah. to give my hundred bucks. Yeah. yeah, so that's how I'm starting to feel with how. Well, maybe I'll cancel my Zeno mini order and put the money into the V copter. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there you go. Yeah. Hey, for seventy nine ninety five, you can probably buy the whole company. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, Ron, can I give you a little advice? Yes. Save that money and buy that Autel Mini when it comes out. 
I'll get the pre. I, hey, maybe I could. Maybe we could do it hub stuff. Maybe I can pre-order it now and get it in like three or four months. So, hey, yeah. uh, uh, just a, a couple quick notes here since we're kind of getting near the end of the show here. Somebody in Drone Nation posted that uh, Master Ass Group, which makes premium props, has released props for the uh, Air 2S. Now, I've never used Master Ass Group props, and I, I and I'm not and I'm not saying good or bad. I mean, I, I've never used I've, I've never used the props. I know some people really love them. Uh, 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 I don't know if Bill or um, Lauren right. had experience with the Master Ass Group props. I think you're getting a bunch of people shaking their head here, Ron. Okay. Nope. You're talking whether, to the wrong panel. CGI or whatever, I always go with OEM. I'm um, like Lauren. I'm same as Lauren. That, OEM for me it, here. It's all it. That's been tested and tried on the drone, and, and you know it's really funny because I get guys in the group. You know, I can get these props on sale. Should I buy them? I, I said. Is it worth the chance of losing your drone? Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. So, so you save, you save problem. two bucks on a set of props. Big deal. You know, if you've got a thousand dollar drone and you're going to save two bucks, is it worth it? You know, <laughs> you know, Lauren brings up a great point because it's like, okay, you know, it's like, oh, I got this wonderful bag here, you know, and, and it looks like a bag you take to the beach. I'm going to carry my drone around in it, or I'm going to go ahead and spend a hundred bucks and get a hard shell case for it, okay? So, well, and, and God, I've seen guys get so bent out of shape about having to spend, a, let's say, 100 bucks for a case for a mini or something. I'm like, guys, okay, l l look at what you're carrying around. You're carrying around some great technology. You want to protect the doggone thing, okay? Come on here, wake up. You know, for, you know, and I've seen people pop a cork, you know, over like a Mavic 2 Pro, okay? I'm like, you're carrying a $1,500 drone. You know what? I want to protect that doggone thing, all right? It's the same here. Lauren brings up a great point. You know, I, I save a couple of bucks. You know what? I'm going to spend a couple of more bucks. I'm going to buy OEM. And you know what? I don't have to worry because I know th the factory has tested it. Yeah, I just bring the Master S Group product because I know a lot of people get very excited when they come out. And, I, you know, the, and I don't want to get big conversations because neither of us have used these. But I, you remember when the original Air the original Mavic Air was out and it was real noisy. And our friend Bill Thomas, whose birthday is this week, uh, said, don't forget the Bill Thomas birthday show this Wednesday. He got the Master Air Screws and it made his original Mavic Air much quieter. Yeah, it did. But, you know, isn't there, you know, there was something along. The, the ESCs, right, Bill? Yeah, ESCs. Uh, I mean, it's just yeah. like, you know, yeah. Well, you and, know uh, yeah. Do, do any of you guys change your props as routine maintenance? I, you know, I, I check them in, you know, usually uh, I, I don't do as much. Usually after I try to do it once a year, unless I see a problem. You know, it's like I was waiting for Marcus to say, well, I don't hold on to a drone that long. No. Yeah, I'm the same way. Like, like, like some drones, I may have it for a year and it has five flights. Yeah. Well, because like I, I change all mine at 50 hours of flight time. Good. Good man. Uh, and, and again, that's that's. Just kind of me being yeah. maybe a little bit anal from my my previous. No, no, that that's good. And you know, I, I mean, I, I mean, I have a drone for fifty hours, Lauren. So, well, well you know, and, and I th and I think Lauren brings up a good point because you know one of the things that we need to do not as not only you know as content creators and panelists here, but you know as hobbyists, you know one of the things is to do do your drone checkout, and one of the checkouts is to check check your props every time before you go yeah. up because yeah. you know you may not have have you may not have realized it but you after your last flight you may have incurred some kind of a ding or something you know one of those problems the slightest dick can af can affect the performance of your flight and you know what and, and I'll tell you this okay and this is this is another reason that DJI is rock solid because most of the time I've noticed like if if I've had any kind of a chip or something on the prop you know, and it starts up, I get a warning message. Okay. It, it comes up, you know, it doesn't happen all the time, but most of the time it comes up with some kind of a warning message. I stop it, you know, shut things down. And I take a look. Sure enough, one of those props has a chip in it. Okay. And it's wow. just like, you know, I, I'm going up there, I'm 150 feet away, I'm 500 feet out. And then next thing you know, I'm having all kinds of problems. You know, I, th that that eliminates that kind of well, stuff. Well, the Air 2S even warns you that if you you haven't like expanded your props all the way out before you take off. Mm-hmm. Tells yeah. you, oh yeah, I forget the word I use, but they they mean like you know, 
stretch your props out. You don't don't take off with them bunched together. Bunched together, yeah. You know, a lot of guys do that, and it's just like you know, it's like the old adage. You know, it it, it it's like you know, if 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 you take care if you take care uh, of a product, you know, you'll have you'll have many you know hours of good use from it. It's the same thing here. If you take care of your drone, okay, and I'm talking about whatever drone it is, okay, you know what? Don't you know unfur unfurl those props. Don't just sit there, slap the battery in it, and, and and go up, throttle up, okay? You know, spread those props out, okay? You know, d do it right. Um, one, one, you know, one other thing, real quickly, just uh, for the mini, uh, if you ever change in the props on the mini, do not, and I repeat, do not reuse the screws. You right. New screws with the props. Use the new screws because there's a thread lock on there, and if we use the old screws, that thread lock is not there. Oh, one, good, more good point. Point, one more point with that, Lauren. Also, before you put that new screw in there, it's also a good idea to take the old screw and run it up down through those threads a couple of times to clean out the old thread locker that's off that old one first. Yeah. Hey, Lauren, any chance of the of the of the mini uh, 2S mini three having having you know the the locking props rather than screw ones? Uh, not likely. Not because of the weight. Yep. You can't afford the weight. Yeah. Yeah. Because they got to put all those sensors on there, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Now we got to add sensors and bigger camera and so on. Hey, I want to get to this story real quick before we got to get out of here if these guys have to run. But um, a lot of people talk about the Triple Tech tablet. It's a 1200 nit uh, Android based tablet. And a lot of guys were using it on, especially the Alltel Evo 2 Pros, because they didn't have a smart guitar until just recently. But um, it would work as just as well on DJI drones, too, because it's got it's an Android-based tablet. You could uh, load the apps on it. Well, now it's on, you know, it's on sale recently. I mean, it's on sale today. I, I, mean, I think it's a new price or whatever. For only $599, you can get this, you know, Android uh, tablet with a 1200 uh, nit thing. Is this now the, the best um, basically drone tablet if you want to switch back and forth between different, you know, drone models? Like, you know, you could say smart guitar, but then you'd have to have a DJI or you, or the old tell smart guitar. You'd have to have an old tell. If you flew a couple of different brands, would this one tablet be the one to kind of, you know, to get? Any thoughts? Yes. yes. And I'll say, uh, I'm sorry, I, I jumped right in. I had a good, I had a good talk with our friend, original Dobo. Okay. Ken. And he, he said, Bill, he said by far, by far and away, it is the best tablet out there. He said, Speaking there is <laughs> not even close. Okay. He says, it's not even close. He said, he said the battery life on it is insane. Um, looking at it outside, you know, he's in Florida too, like me, you know, looking at it outside, there's no problem viewing that screen. Now, at do you all. think Bill, I ha does it have enough heat release points that it won't yeah. it won't go dim on you? Like what happened? Marcus Crawford, I call him the guy. No matter where he takes outside, it dim it dims up on him. Does this have? I know this looks thick. It doesn't look thin it's, like a mini. It's it looks it's, I'm guessing it has more more heat release points. Yeah, and, and it's ruggedized too, which means you know I wouldn't just throw it and drop it, but it's it's going to withstand a little bit of abuse here. The other thing is. And, I, and I've noticed this, um, you know, there are options and I think Thor's drone world. Okay. He, if you want to check out tablet holders or phone holders, go to Thor's drone, drone world. He makes some out checks in the mail. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Ken, that's awesome. You know, go out to Thor's drone world because he's a, some incredible ones. Okay. For like for like the minis, okay, it'll fit in there. It'll also work in the Air 2S. Um, you know, also work in the Mavic 2 Pro. Um, you know, he also has ones that'll work for um, for Autel. Um, you know, in, in in this tablet, it's just you know, I would say don't walk, run to get it. And I'm I'm just wait I'm waiting for some more funds to be able to get one myself because you know it it gets. The real estate on there, I think, is a perfect size because it is bigger than the smart controller, and that's a lot of. A lot now, of it, it, it's mini. It's mini. It's 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 it's. It, uh, I can't spit out here. It's 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 Apple mini size. It's seven point nine, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's so yeah. it's a per, it's a perfect 
it's almost the perfect size. You don't. Yeah, like it's better day. than a phone. Much yeah. better than a phone. Hey, I know you're on a roll here, Bill. But uh, one quick question: Th these mounts you're talking about, I've heard a lot about them. But when you when you put it on these mounts, is it permanently attached? Is, do you have to move a whole bunch of nuts and bolts every time you want to like take it off and put it back in a case? Or no, or it's it just like you know, it, it's like okay, for example. You know, like on the on the um, you know, uh, with with a controller on the on the mini, you know, I, I use it, do it apart. You just have to have to lift the antenna up and take it off. It's done. I mean, okay, so it's easy just to put away. Oh, yeah. oh, I, yeah. I didn't realize it's how easy. much. Of, I know you. you some of them show sure look like you put the screws. But that's a one time deal, huh? Or, I, I you know, it just looks like it's it, it looks like it's you know permanent to me. But uh, you answer my questions, not. Okay. No, it's not. Okay. So the thing is, what I, I got a question for the panel. So you're flying your drone and you're out in the heat, and all of a sudden you're say you're flying low over water, and and you're out in the heat and your screen goes so dim you can barely see it. What's your next move with your controller? Straight up. Ditto. Altitude makes everything right. Ron, he's uh, to to yes. Uh, I mean, straight up, yeah. I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't okay. have any other other Just thoughts. Asking. Hey, a, a Drake Stone Drone Life here said he paid seven twenty after tax and shipping. Now I know there are two different price points on the tablet, and and I don't know, you know, the the five nine nine budget one. I don't know. Maybe you get less memory in that, or I you think know. the second one has more memory in it. Um, yeah. It's and that would be important if you were going to use it as an all-around tablet. But if you were just going to do nothing but fly drones in it, I, would the 599 be good enough? That was a one-purpose device. Yeah. And see, here's the other thing with this, too. Okay. Now, they're running on an older Android operating system because I know you guys are Apple aficionados. Um, it's running on an older Android. And, and I actually emailed them about that. And they said that's that's fine. Does that mean it may be a more stable version? It is a pretty stable ver Android version. Okay. Now there's you know there's there's no talk about upgrading it, but you know th all the apps will work with it. Like you know, of course, DJI's app, Autel's app, um, you know, and so forth. You know, before you no, fly, and some before of the you fly, that kind of thing. Yeah. There's no issues with that. And and another thing that I think is important. I'm sorry, Marcus. Uh, the oh, other no, thing. Go ahead, Bill. That, that, I, that I wanted to say, too, is if you buy this tablet, okay, don't download Facebook. Don't download Twitter. Don't download all your other apps on there. Okay? All the memory hogs. Dedicate this tablet solely, 100%, to your drone, okay, without any question. Oh, and also, by the way, and the last thing, I'll, I'll, sh I'll shut up after this, okay? It's 4G LTE enabled which means, you know, you go out, you know, if you get a, a T-Mobile plan or Verizon or, or AT&T and get a SIM card and throw it in there, okay, you're good to go. You have you, you have internet access anywhere in it. So I'm done. Uh, Michael, Michael yeah. Wright just threw the prices up for the, um, uh, uh, the triple tech. Price and specs. Yep. So you answered my question, Bill, about whether you could hook it up through uh, LTE. Otherwise, you'd have to tag it to your phone to, right. to, to be live. Now, the other concern that I have, and this is it, you know, same problem with the uh, Crystal Sky monitor, which was basically an Android tablet and the smart controller. I always like to do a screen recording when I fly. I like to have that even whether I'm doing in a, uh, a, a YouTube video or not. I like to have that record of, of, uh, of what I did with the drone and be able to see it. Uh, is that is it future proof? In other words, is the hardware, the processor, robust enough to be able to do a screen recording as well as run the app at the same time? Oh yeah, because I, I asked. That was another question that I had. Um, you know, because you know the current version, like like my Samsung um, phone and tablet, you know, they have a built-in screen recorder, and I asked them. I said, you know, and they said the one that's out on the App Store, and there's a specific name for it. I don't know if it's called just screen recorder, but they said it works without without any kind of problem while you're running the app. And see, again, the whole thing is, you know, not having other things in the background running, say, like Facebook or Twitter or or, or weather bug or some other kind of thing. You know, it's make sure. You know, and if you do, I'm not saying don't download apps, 
But the more you put on that tablet, okay, the more of a burden it's going to be because, you know, you, you basically want to dedicate it to drone flying because when you do that, you're not going to have any issues. But if you have the four, you know, that screen recorder, it's not a problem. And you know what? And I'm just going to say this as a side note, you know, um, I saw our, our, our buddy, um, out in North Dakota. Uh, what's his name? Um, uh, uh, Russ, 51 Russ, drones. Okay. You know, uh, Russ is a great guy. But it, it kind of slays me, and it kind of like – I'm like, Russ, don't you screen record? I was I was waiting to see something, and there was no – he doesn't screen record. And I'm just like, wow. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I don't screen record unless I'm trying to do a video where I'm showing something, whatever. If I'm just a regular flight uh... – Oh, I you know, I, I every single time I'm out there, I'm doing it because – you never know what, what, you know, what can happen. And that's why, you know, I want to have that insurance for some reason, you know? Hey, uh, our friend, Michael Wright, te Texas Arts Drone Guy says, Ron, the future question is iPad mini six versus uh, a triple tech. And uh, that's a good question, Mike. And I'm sure the iPad mini six will be a better tablet in every way, but one, I bet you it doesn't have 1200 nits. And, and another, so we're more on that subject, Ron, and, and, and we've, I think you and I have talked about this before and I doubt we'll ever see it, but boy, would I love to see a ruggedized high uh, brightness tablet from Apple. I just think that would be. Yeah. And why, why Marcus brings this up folks is that I, I know Bill's an Android guy and Lauren, I'm not sure. Lauren, are you, are you Android or iOS? iOS. Okay. So, uh, well, and so what Lauren, I know what, uh, you know, uh, Mark is going to say, but uh, Laura, a lot of us think that, uh, especially with the DJI apps, like the Fly app and even the old Go 4 app, that the iOS version was a superior piece of software than the Android version of some of those apps. Do you can you weigh in on this at all, Lauren? Yep. Yeah. Uh, with DJI products, they always work better on iOS. Um, we know basically iOS is iOS is iOS. With uh, if you go to Android, there's several different versions of Android. You know, it, it there there's Android, but um, this one works better with this one. This one works better, um, and not everybody actually runs the same version of Android. If you've got an iOS, you're probably everybody's running the same darn version. You know, or very very close to it. Um, so when the code is written, it's more or less intended for iOS. Yeah, that's what Rick Smith said that. Um, I think I had him on once and he talked about that. And, and he said, yeah, that, that code base is, you know, uh, DJI, you know, it's really kind of custom made for iOS. Hence, you know, why you can always get an iOS update, um, you know, if it's the app or firmware update or whatever, you know, uh, but, you know, for for Android, you know, for the DJI Fly app, you know, you have to go out specifically and download it yourself. You can't do it through the Play Store. They um, and, and I think and, and what, what I think that is has to do with that has to do more with the Google, the, the agreement with with the Google Play Store versus, you know, anything else. DJI's agreement with them, yeah. um, I, you know, it really doesn't have anything to do with the mechanics of it. Right, right. I mean, for for you know, back to you know the thing, you know the iOS version. You know, when I got the smart controller, you know, of course I'm running the DJI smart controller on Android, and uh, you know, and you have the you know originally it was the uh, Go Four app because I was flying the Mavic Two Pro and originally, but I mean, I would I would kind of you know uh, you know I, I knew I could tell that it wasn't as good, and now on drones such as the Mini Two and the Air Two S, like. Um, I actually almost prefer to use, you know, the my iPhone or my iPad Mini uh, rather than hook the smart controller up to those drones because I just like the way the app performs better, you know, on the iPhone, the Fly app, rather than using it on the tablet, you know, the smart controller or whatever. And unless I actually need the, those all those nits. You know, if I'm flying it, when I don't need all those nits, I just go with the standard controller and an iOS device because of the better performance of the app, if that makes any sense. I got to run, guys.
So, okay, okay well, thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, it was great having you on. Thanks for all the information uh, you provided, and um, we'll, we'll talk to you soon, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. See you guys. We'll see you soon, Lauren. On the flip side. I, okay, we got to everything tonight. I said about the rumors of the uh, the GoPro Hero 10 the DJ action too. And we're at 10.15, so how about we table that question, maybe talk a, talk about tomorrow night on the Bill the Drone Reviewer show coming on at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, uh, you know, to, to a YouTube channel near you or whatever. Is that uh, something we could talk about a little bit tomorrow night, Bill? Yes, absolutely. You know, and, and hopefully – Hopefully, you know, maybe one or all three of us gets a shipping notice from 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 this company called Hubson. You know, who knows? Maybe there'll be like a little a little Hubson sitting on a tabletop tomorrow. Could be. You maybe know. you get the tracking number and the drone all on the same day. Stranger things have happened. Hey, I, I'd trade I'd trade three Femi Minis for it. <laughs> you know, they always talk about the chip shortage. I said, well, listen, I'll pop the chip out of this and send it to Hubson. Yeah. And then you put it in, uh, <laughs> you know, my, uh, uh, my, uh, uh, you know, a Zeno Mini. But somebody said, well, you don't want that chip in your good drone. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I think I think we covered a lot of ground tonight. What do you think, guys? I think yeah. we covered it all, Ron. Yeah. It was a good show tonight. So, uh, folks, I want to thank everybody for chat. I'm sorry I didn't get into the chat more and pop more of your questions up. I was so uh, you know we had a pretty good conversation tonight, and I was kind of got too distracted by the by the conversation. But I I do thank everybody that came in and chat tonight. Uh, I didn't get to read all the names out, but uh, you know all you people make this show. The people show up in the chat week to week, and 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 the supporters on. Facebook and support all the other drone channels like Bill's show and uh, Bill Thomas's show and Mikey's show and all the other good shows out there. I can't even name them all here. We'd be here for another 15 minutes. If you want to know all the good shows out there, go check out our good friend, Johnny Drone Flyer. He put together a spreadsheet of all the live drone shows or whatever the week. So, you know, download his, his spreadsheet, check out who's on what's night, you know, maybe, Maybe bounce around, catch a couple different shows or whatever, see what's out there, whatever, and um, you know, support the community. You know, um, so Bill, you have any party words? Uh, you no, know? it was it was. It's always great to be with you guys. Um, you know, you got a, a great crew that follows you. Um, you know, most of these people follow follow me as well, and um, it, it it was a real pleasure. I absolutely enjoy this and. You know, it's and and the big thing is this, and I will say this. You know, you know, we're we're all we're all one here, okay. Um, you know, no no matter what, you know, you know, do this or do that. You know, it's all it's fun, it's exciting, it's our hobby. It's you know, it's something that something that that motivates us. We have a passion for it. Um, we do it well. You know, there's just there's just some something that's so much fun about this. You know, you know, conversely, you know. There's there can be some lag time, but I'm going to be dealing with that coming up shortly in terms of um, my surprise announcement that's coming up. Well, not really a surprise. You guys know, but, you know, it's I, I'm, I'm working on it. And there's a lot of behind the scenes stuff that I'm doing for that. So, no, it's always a pleasure being on with you guys. Always a treat. And you guys got got great, great, get, great, great, great people to follow you. Thank you so much for being on with us tonight, Bill. Marcus, do you have anything to say on the, on the way out here? Yeah, well, uh, so I've got uh, later on this week, Sarah and I are headed for uh, Mount Hood in Oregon. And so I'm going to. You just got back from the Hood River. From Hood River, but now we're going to Mount Hood. Mount Hood is a totally different deal. It's a big mountain. And uh, so there might be some opportunities. I'm hoping there's going to be some opportunities to throw a drone in the air. Uh, so I'll probably just. Uh, keep it simple and just take the uh, air 2s with me you know take the big dog oh, right you love dog. that little guy yeah that's a fantastic product and uh yeah, hopefully have some opportunities to fly it could it, it, it it's ready to run for drone of the year i would say yeah uh, well i guess it's not too early to talk about drone of the year so far i mean i i know people love the dji fpv drone uh, we're not really fpv guys but for i think for the three of us uh, the the air 2s is really in the running for drone of the year so far right no question. Easily. Even, no question. What, what, uh, what, you forget about this little guy. Yeah. 
as they'd say in the uh, in the legal business, no lo contendre. But but of course, if a if a Mavic Three stuck out the door, you may change your tune there, Bill. Uh, not. <laughs> I don't think it's coming out this year. I don't think <laughs> it's coming out this year. But I, I can tell you right that Air Two S. It's just two thumbs up, way, what way about up. That? Well, but Lauren was really piquing our interest on that, the, the Mini 3 or whatever, all the stuff it's going to have in it. It's going to be, it's going to be, it, like I said, it's going to be better than the Xeno Mini Pro. It could be a contender, huh, Bill? Oh, with, with, without it. You could come out with one month left in the year, come out and steal the show. Good, good deal. So um, that's it, folks. Uh, thanks again. Thanks for joining us for another great show, and uh, you know, and we'll be back uh, next week, hopefully, with uh, some more good information to uh, uh, talk about. So everybody, get out there. It's the middle of summer now. Get out there and fly while you can, while the weather's good. I know it's hot in a lot of part of the countries, but try to get out early or try to get out late. But we're out of here now. Be safe, everyone. <laughs>